growing blueberries in containers, in small spaces, in warm climates. I used to think this was not possible because my experience with blueberries was eating them in the wild in Acadia National Park in Maine, cold northeastern climate, and then foraging for them in Alaska, also another cold climate. So I thought, you know what? Can I even grow them here in San Diego in Zone 10B? The answer is yes, although there are some things that you need to take into account. So today, we're taking a look at three different varieties of container and warmer climate specific blueberries from Bushel and Berry. Really cool varieties. So we're gonna pot these up and just talk about how to care for them. Our first variety is Southern Bluebell. This, these two right here, 250 to 300 chill hours, very low amount for a warm climate like mine has these sort of green leaves that turn red and the berry is sort of a pinkish color. These two in the middle, peach sorbet, 300 chill hours. The leaves have a variety of colors, peach, pink, green, etc. And then the berries have sort of a tropical flavor. So excited about these guys. Finally, we have blueberry buckle Cora Blue. These have 350 chill hours or require that much. And they have beautiful dark green foliage and the berries are much darker and sweeter. So excited to try all three of these. Let's pot these up and talk about how to care for them. So blueberries are a plant that require extremely low pH relative to most plants, four to five range. So what I'm using for that is an azalea and camellia mix, which is low pH. And then I also mixed in just a little bit of micro bark to loosen it up, maybe at a four to one ratio of the azalea mix to the micro bark. So we're mixing this up and what you wanna do is size up the container. So this is, I think, a 12 inch. We're gonna put it in a 16 and that's where it's going to live out its life. So you wanna give it enough space to you know, do well. It's a shallow rooted plant. So what we have to do is we're gonna fill the bottom and I've got a drainage hole down at the bottom, of course, with this terracotta. And we are going to go ahead, pop out one of our bloobs. I'm gonna leave space at the top for about two to four inches of mulch and I'm gonna use that micro bark as that mulch. Blueberries are a shallow rooted plant, so you gotta make sure and you mulch that soil. You don't want them to dry out, otherwise they're gonna be in a rough spot. So we'll take a little bit of this mix out, make sure it's nice and solid. We're gonna backfill and pot up maybe two inches or so of the micro bark mulch. And then you wanna put this in an area that is sunny but sheltered. Super, super hot conditions. It might not do so well, even if it's a low chill hour variety. So it's a really good idea to give it a little bit of shelter from those hotter parts of the day, especially as you move into summer. All right, we're potted up. We have the blueberry buckles here, two of them. We have the peach sorbet, the southern bluebell right here. Blueberries typically need about one to two inches of water a week. Of course, if you mulch and if you're in a terracotta, that's going to evaporate out a little bit more. So you just kind of have to keep a manual eye on it until you get a sense for it. But what I'm just gonna do is go ahead, hydrate this micro bark really quickly, and then water the rest. Now what's interesting about these varieties are that they are hybridized in traditional manner. So not GMO, just normal breeding techniques like you would see in almost any other variety of plant, which is really nice. If you're going to plant them in containers like this, you really do kind of need a large one like this 16 incher. I would really recommend that. And then as far as caring for them, you will want to put some sort of netting over the top if you have an issue with birds. You could just throw maybe like a bamboo pole up and net over and that might work. And then you can also give it a 10, 10, 10 fertilizer after about the first year and maybe a six inch band around the blueberry plant and that'll do really well. And then as far as pruning goes, not really a whole lot is needed for these varieties. They're relatively low growing. You can kind of just let them go and you'll be in a really good spot to enjoy blueberries as long as you want. I mean, blueberry plants last quite a long time. So I got my berries here hanging out in relatively full sun, although as soon as the sun gets to about right there, it does start to shade it just slightly. So hopefully that provides a little bit of summer cover during those hotter months of the year. A couple more notes before we go. These varieties are all self pollinating. However, if you plant a few close to each other or have a couple containers close to each other, that can help increase yield. And then if you are in an area that gets really cold in the winter, it might be a good idea to either throw a frost blanket on these or move them to an area that's a bit more protected because low chill hour varieties will have a hard time with high chill. They have no chill, you might say. So anyways, guys, 
Thank you so much. If you have any tips, suggestions on growing container blueberries or experiences of your own, please leave them in the comments down below. I got all these ones from Bushel and Berry, and these are varieties that you can actually only get from Bushel and Berry. So feel free to check them out. But until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.